Hey everyone, it's Jessica Edwards in Wilmington, North Carolina. So I want to talk about real estate and luck. A lot of people think that successful real estate agents are very lucky sometimes. And a lot of people think that successful sellers are sometimes lucky. And I think that, you know, luck has a lot to do with what you put into it. So I think that the harder you work, the luckier you are. The more knowledgeable you are, the luckier you are. Um, and I think that in real estate, um, there are a lot of layers to real estate and every aspect of it. So I think it's a lot like a puzzle in some instances. Um, you know, you can't just do social media and real estate and not do direct mail. You can't just make phone calls and not something else. You know, you, there's, there's a lot of different layers to it on many different levels. You can't just, in my opinion, represent sellers and not buyers. You can't just represent buyers and not sellers. I feel like you're not as knowledgeable in the market if you're not working every angle and every aspect of it. Um, you know, as a team concept, we obviously have buyer specialists and myself specializing in listings. Um, and I think that's a little bit different because you're always working together. And so you are essentially working with buyers and sellers and learning both aspects of the market. But I just think it's really important to keep that in mind. Um, you know, when you're hiring someone or working with someone, that there's a lot of different layers to it. And it's not just somebody that's been in the business for 20 years. You know, it's what are they still doing? And sometimes that person that was... Um, you know, really knowledgeable and really great 10, 15, 20 years ago isn't so much today or is not as active today and therefore doesn't know the market as well today as somebody that's been in the business for two years. So I just think that there's a lot of different layers to real estate. I think if you're a seller, you can't just stick a sign in your yard. And if you're a real estate agent, you can't just say, hey, I'm a realtor. So I think that's really important for people to keep in mind that it's just not, um, as simple or it's not as one dimensional, if you will, as a lot of people may think it is. There's just a lot of different layers to it and a lot of different aspects to it. And for those sellers that are very successful in selling their homes, you know, at, at the highest prices and for, you know, closest to asking price or in the shortest amount of time for the buyers that snag that deal of a lifetime or that foreclosure in the hot, hot neighborhood and, or whatever, you know, I think that there's, there's a lot of different layers to it. And those buyers are probably prepared, um, to write that offer. They know what, what to do to make that offer. They've got an agent working for them. That's looking out for them and really sort of on their side and on it, if you will, and a good negotiator and they're prepared. There's a lot of different layers to it. So I think that's a really important thing to think about in every aspect of real estate is it's not just one piece of the pie or one piece of the puzzle, that there's many things that have to come together in order to be successful in real estate from every, every angle, whether you're buying, selling, or working in some form of real estate. So anyways, I'm rambling. Those are my thoughts. If you have any questions or comments or you disagree, please feel free to email me at Jessica Edwards at Seacoast Realty. Dot com. And of course, you can always check us out at thecarolinasfinest.com. Thanks so much for listening. Have a wonderful day.